Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and we're here to do your daily vibes or your daily reading for the 21st. Happy summer solstice to those of you that are celebrating that. So anyway, here we go. Here we go for the 21st. We're going to get an overall energy and see what comes up. What do we have for the 21st? Hermit. Yeah, this is being coming consciously aware of a situation. This is a time of introspection and reflection. Stillness. Focusing on your inner being. Figuring out who you are, where you're going. You know, I think we have somebody here that is really going within to figure out what their next step is, you know. Going through some sort of uh, awakening, perhaps. We got somebody here that is seeing something, okay. Because he's, this guy, I mean, it's like he's seeing the light in a situation. It's been a long, long road, too. It has been a long road. Somebody has gained a lot of wisdom through maybe solitude, right? But things are looking pretty bright here. I mean, the light is pretty bright, so there's, there's some sort of brightness. Something is looking bright. The future is looking bright. The future is... It's like he sees something. He sees a bright opportunity. He sees it. Just got has to go get it, okay? This guy, he has to, you know, travel down that path to go get it, whatever it is. Seizing the opportunity. This is seizing the opportunity for our cups reversed. This is interested. I'm interested in whatever I see. We got somebody here that's interested in looking forward now, leaving something behind. Oh. Hey, man. Yeah, we got somebody who's been stuck in a place of suspension, in a place of limbo, resisting change. Really confused, needing to see something from a new perspective, but not doing so. You know, Six of Coins, this is not giving to a situation. There could have been a rejection. There could have been a rejection which has caused somebody to retreat, seclude themselves. But now they're ready. Now they're ready. They're ready because this is ready. Ooh, wow, there's a there's a strong attraction here. That's why. There's a there's a, there's and it's unexpected. Somebody sees something or they have something in their sight that is perhaps it's meant to be because when you get the lover's card this really you know this could be a connection that is absolutely meant to be and it's unexpected and now we have a choice we have a decision do you want this or not do you want to let it go do you want do you want it or not this is a choice now you got to do you want it or not That's what this is too. This is in the shape of a heart. This is this is love, okay? What does your heart want? What does your heart want? I think that we got somebody here that sees, you know, an opportunity for love, but you know, they'll have to face some sort of struggle to break free from their own confusion, to break free from their old thoughts, to break free from their old ways and let go of their need to prove themselves. somebody's really struggling with this love I mean look at where he's looking he's looking over here at this love this guy is stuck he's hung up he's 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 looking over at this lover he's like oh you know I want it he wants it but in order to get it he he's gonna have to not be so stubborn he's gonna have to probably you know 
accept something, accept some sort of change, look at something from a new perspective, give. Well, this is a one-sided situation, the six of coins in reversed. One-sided doesn't work. It takes two, not one. So I think we have somebody that is thinking about, you know, seizing this opportunity for love, but, you know, do they have... Can they give to the situation or do they want to be alone? This is what it's about. Do you want to be alone? Do you want to live alone? Do you want to be alone or do you want love? Do you want you to, you know, go after this connection that you're looking at? Somebody is looking at this connection, you know? This is seizing the opportunity, though. This is letting go of the regrets, the end of stagnation, accepting the offer. This is, this is taking the mask off, accepting the truth unblocking somebody has been blocking their emotions blocking their feelings this is like unblocking opening up again so we could have somebody here that is going to be speaking the truth they're ready to open up they're ready to you know unblock their heart or they're ready to well let's get some more cards Ooh, getting a commitment this is the hero font getting a commitment this is a commitment and this is a commitment. This is on the bottom of this deck. Taurus. Virgo. But this is a this is have faith. Believe. Trust. Listen to your inner guide. This is have faith. Obviously it's the same card. But this is it's almost like somebody um, is being told to take this opportunity. Don't let it go. Have faith and trust in what your gut is telling you. Somebody is thinking about seizing an opportunity for love that absolutely could involve commitment. We have Gemini and Pisces here. Taurus, Gemini, Pisces, Virgo. Imagine that. Mm. Six of Cups. This is pro this could be a past life connection. It's funny. I must have said that in yesterday's reading because it feels like it is, especially with this lover's card. It feels like whoever, whatever this connection is, it's, it's a very deep one. Um... This is the sixes right next to each other. This is reevaluating. Somebody has been going back and forth and back and forth in regards to reevaluating a commitment. Whether they want this, whether they really want a commitment, whether they want to put in effort or not. But they have feelings. They have genuine feelings. Or, or they have, this person makes them, you know, think about love. Bring, we, reawakens feelings of love within them. You know, and that's why they can't. It's like they can't stop thinking about it because it, they feel the love. You know, they feel the, they remember what love feels like. That this is what love feels like. This is memories of memories of love. And this is what love feels like. This is love. Oh, somebody is heavily burdened, carrying something. Oh, my ear is starting to ring. Anyhow, um, somebody is carrying a heavy burden, carrying a lot of baggage, baggage, overworked, overwhelmed. Really, we have somebody here that is really overwhelmed. <laughs> Ooh, with letting go, with letting go of what they once knew, with, with change. We have somebody that's overwhelmed with accepting change. Change is scary, I understand that. <laughs> somebody is weighed down carrying something that they don't need to carry. Ten of Cups. Somebody's not really focused that much on a relationship. Ten of Cups reversed. They're not putting in enough effort to a relationship. Somebody could be scared of getting weighed down by a relationship.
This is forgiveness, three of swords reversed. Letting go of the past hurts. <coughs> Healing. And this is love heals. We have somebody here that may have been maybe working too much. They're working too much. They're, 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 they have too many responsibilities and they're not really, or, or they're focused on everything but a relationship, which is causing a relationship to suffer. So yeah, we have a relationship that is suffering. Or it's not coming into fruition because somebody is overwhelmed with everything. There's so much going on that, that there, there's been, there, it's like there's been a time of stagnation. There's been a time of suspension because there's just too much. There's too much, but there's, there's feelings of love and this is what love is. And I feel the love. And it's like somebody's gut is telling them that this is an opportunity that they should take. But can they give to it? Can they give to it? So I think there is, you know, this is um, unblocking, forgiving, <laughs> unbelievable, unblocking, forgiving, healing the past hurts. This is a healing love. It's meant to be. Three of Cups reversed. Unhappy. Somebody is unhappy for sure. Somebody doesn't want to lose the love. They don't want to lose the love. They don't. Four of Swords reversed. Somebody is absolutely exhausted. Mentally exhausted. Four of Swords reversed. Like, come to the point of... You know, it's maybe it's time to slow down. Maybe it's time to focus on you. Maybe you need to take a break. Maybe it's time for you to do something for yourself. Maybe you should have a little bit of fun. Maybe you should focus on love. Maybe you should give love a chance. Anyway. Feels like somebody is needing to really, really, really take a break. And give themselves time to socialize. Give themselves time to heal. Give this is socialize. Give themselves, you know, time to, you know, focus on a love partnership. You know, focus on that for a minute. Because somebody's not happy. Page of Swords reversed. This is this is a conflict. Somebody has been watching, observing, and they're probably not happy with what they're seeing. Seeing There's difficulty in communication. We got somebody who, you know, may, 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 may talk the talk, but may not be able to walk the walk. We also have somebody in this mix, perhaps, that sticks their nose in where they don't belong and has caused the relationship to suffer. That could be this person. This could be somebody who is petty, somebody that is immature, and, you know, this is somebody that, you know, may have caused some sort of conflict in a relationship. It's funny because I was going to start this reading out, and it's weird. I should have just said it. I was sitting here before I turned the camera on. I'm going to say it right now. Don't let other people make your choices in your relationships. You choose. It doesn't matter what those other people say. You know, because we all get that. We all get that from people, family members, friends that really aren't friends. Okay? This is somebody, the Three of Cups reversed. Be careful what your friends tell you. Are they really your friends? This is a card of friendship. You know, it's a friends versus a lover. I mean, come on now. Or family. Because this is family. Friends or family versus a lover. I mean, come on now. What the hell does your heart want? Are you going to let your friends or your family choose your future? You know, I feel like there's been some conflict because of 
you know, somebody may have said something they shouldn't have said. This is somebody who, you know, sticks their nose in. Which causes somebody to suspend or causes somebody to be confused. And that is exactly what happened. Or is, has happened. Okay, that's what's happening. Whatever the case is. It's like somebody is sticking their nose into a love connection when they shouldn't be. So anyway, I feel like you need to follow your heart. My advice is use your inner wisdom. Listen to your inner guide. Listen to yourself. Follow your own path. This is the meaning of this card, by the way. I know what it is. I'm a Taurus. Believe in yourself. Follow your own path. You know what is right for you. Nobody else does. Have faith in what you feel. Have faith in what you know. Listen to the divine guidance that you are receiving. Do not doubt. Somebody has received guidance from, from the wrong one. Seriously. And it's funny because when I picked this up before... You know, this could have been reversed or upright. Somebody has been listening to guidance from the wrong one. Your gut, your intuition is the only guidance you really need to listen to. Have faith in yourself. Believe in yourself. Seize the opportunity for love. Anyhow, and whatever this love is to you, go after what your heart wants. Follow your heart, not what the other person says. We got somebody here that sees an opportunity, and it looks good. It looks good. It feels good. But somebody hasn't really been reciprocating, probably because... The, there we have a meddler some or meddlers that have impacted another person's ability to move forward. So what is going to happen today? What is going to happen on the 20th? Oh, the 21st, the 21st. Obviously, it's going to be the 20th, the 21st, or whenever, because the timing is fluid. Could be dealing with a Pisces, by the way. Okay. This is the Eight of Cups, but that is the sign for Pisces. <sighs> Queen of Wands reversed. No ambition, no drive. I mean, this is this is walking away as well, walking away from another person. So somebody may, and this is a choice. So somebody may be choosing to walk away from a person that meddled. Ah, oh, this would be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like we have somebody here that is walking away from somebody that stuck their nose in that shouldn't have. I think their intuition has been telling them that and they're, they're, they're going for that nine of cups, you know, from the eight of cups. I'm going for wish fulfillment. I'm going for wish fulfillment. See ya. So I think that we have somebody here that is, is choosing this soulmate connection that's making the choice. Somebody is making the choice. Probably to choose, there's a choice here, a friend or a family, friend, family versus partner. And I think we have somebody that is making the decision.
to take that high road. This is bright. Did I say that at the beginning? Oh my God, it just clicked. And that's what it is, it just clicked. Gotta go, talk to you later, bye.